caps. Let's get into it. Yeah, so different caps are latex caps, silicone caps, dome caps, mm -hmm. all really good. I've used all of them. Um, I honestly don't have a, a big preference about what, what caps to use. I do like silicone caps the most, um, but honestly, any cap works for me personally. Yeah. Yeah, um, I hate wearing cuffs during practice. Yeah. I don't. During they practice. are the most annoying thing. I get headaches every single time. Um, I hate wearing caps. Um, I you, I would recommend wearing a cap, though, before your race, so maybe warm-ups before a meet and stuff like that, just so you're comfortable wearing the cap, just so you have the feel for it and, and what that's going to be like. But, man, I hate wearing caps. Um, but yeah, I feel I feel bad for girls when they have to wear caps <laughs> yeah, every yeah. single day. I'm like, oh, that's yeah, tough. True. And that sometimes, so sometimes I try. Sometimes I'm like, because my my hair used to be my hair used to be. I mean, not as long as yours, but it used to be long. And I'm like, oh man, my hair is really good in my face. Like yeah. maybe I should put a cap on. Like three minutes in to the warm, I'm like, I'm done <laughs> <No>. with this. <laughs> um, I, when I used to swim the 500, I take my cap off like halfway through the race because <laughs> I, I hate this. Um, but yeah, latex caps they add more wrinkles on the top because it's not as sleek. Um, and those wrinkles kind of catch water. As it's going through so it just adds a little bit more drag does it add a lot of drag no but when it comes down to it for sprinting um that, that just every little bit counts right. so distance swimmers if you're not comfortable wearing silicone caps if you don't like it um then wear a latex cap you know at the end of the day um does it add more time sure uh, does it add a lot of time probably not so sprinters i would recommend wearing silicone caps where it's a little more sleek less wrinkles up at the top obviously dome caps are are going to be better um especially those 3d dome caps where they already have the molding at the top i mean so it doesn't create those wrinkles at all um at the top those i would highly recommend those I, those are the only caps i wear um the only other cap i would wear is when i had longer hair i bought one of those hair controlling caps so it's like a mesh cap and you like you just push all of your hair into it and it's got a tighter band that goes around and just holds all of your hair in place and then i put a cap you, you've seen me wear yeah it. And, and so when i have longer hair that's that's what i would use um before capping myself with a with a dome cap yeah um, you wore that you wore that when you were younger too yeah. and i was i was a lot younger i saw it for the first time i was like what's this guy doing <laughs> why has he got this it just yeah <laughs> it, just cap keeps, on. it just keeps my hair um in right if i just put the dome cap over then like some hair on the side is going to be sticking out right. um, and when i had longer hair like that like this hair sticking out on the side like you know that's going to create some drag and so i just push it all in and then cap myself over um a lot of people complain about silicone caps sliding off your head um <laughs> don't shower <laughs> before putting the cap on right especially like with conditioner um when, when your hair is like too silky and smooth like yeah that silicone cap is gonna is gonna fly off so be a swimmer uh get used to the chlorine uh get that dry hair and that silicone cap's gonna stay on pretty well um of course you can double cap latex cap and then a silicone cap um i hate double capping just because it's like too tight um but but yeah try that try not <laughs> showering i guess i mean shower but just like like especially with conditioner when your hair is just like too um smooth it like that silicone is just right. gonna slide off your head um for girls who like put their hairs up in buns sporty actually created a cap where it has a little extension um for girls with um that tie their hair up into buns um i know some girls struggle with that and then they have speedo has a long hair cap where it comes down a little bit longer for those who have longer hair does it work as well as like those hair controlling um caps i don't think so i would recommend getting the hair controlling caps if you have super long hair but at the end of the day, what's comfortable for you is what's going to work and make you feel confident in the water. That gogles. Or my mom, how she pronounced it, gargles. Gargles. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, goggles. Um, there's different types of goggles, like training goggles, racing goggles. Um, I like, for me, training goggles, I like the speed sockets, speedo speed sockets. Oh, yeah. Um, those are just the go-to. Those are, m like, the most reliable to me. Um, and they're durable. I actually just broke one the other day, actually. <laughs> what are you talking about? Vanquishers? Or the speed sockets? I'm pretty sure I have speed sockets. Oh, okay. Right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got the speed You're talking about, like, just the $20 ones, just the regular ones, right? Yeah. Those are vanquishers. Hey, we're gonna cut this part out. Hey, let's just start that part over. <laughs> I meant the vanquishers. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the speed of vanquishers. Those are just 
uh, my go-to for training goggles. Mm -hmm. um, those are just nice, durable ones uh, for training. Um, for racing, I like uh, the Cobras, the, the tier Cobras. Those are those are my favorite right here. Mostly because they got this band right here um, for stabilizers, and they got a slick, sleek, sleek kind of uh, profile, um, and also extra vision. So I really like the Cobras. I wear them all the time for my races. Yeah, this guy's this guy's a tad bit fancier. Um, <laughs> I, I go for my my thing about goggles is comfort. If I'm wearing these for like my 50 free is 80 seconds. No, I'm just kidding. My 50 free is like a 23, 24. Um, don't my I'm more of a 100, 200 swimmer. So if I'm wearing these for a minute to two minutes, I want these to be comfortable, right? And so, uh, like you said, for training vanquishers, I feel like that's kind of like the gold standard for like training goggles. I've seen people where Kathleen Baker wears vanquishers for racing that she won the. Um, the uh broke the record in the olympics with the uh, regular vanquishers um so you can use them for racing they're great for racing too um sometimes i use it if i don't want to um bring out my my more expensive goggles which aren't as expensive as his but um yeah vanquishers are kind of the gold standard a lot of other companies have tried to copy these and and make it but i think the vanquishers are and, and the new ones that speedo came out with the evs which stands for i think it was like more like vision or something like that i don't know what it does but extra, I, it, vision? extra vision yeah so it adds more peripheral on the side um for for the vanquisher so they have the vanquishers vanquisher 2.0s and then the vanquisher evs um we we have a pair of the evs right i do not i think i have I a pair i, I have a pair EVs. of the evs i have a pair of 2.0s um and yeah i use those for training all of the time for competitions for meets i use the speed sockets um and those are oh, the speed socket 2.0s that's also speedo um i just like the eye gasket it just fits on my eyes great it's super comfortable um the silicone on that just feels like amazing on my eyes has good suction it's a pretty low profile not as much as the arena those cobras yeah not as much as the cobras um and then it has has a little bit of peripheral but not as much as the um the the new speedo um pure intent i think or the uh or their their other new their higher end goggles not as much peripheral as that but they used to have just the speed sockets and those were great but the 2.0s are are even better those are about 35 bucks um tier has great goggles um however their bands are rounded and the rounded parts kind of hurt me a little bit more so i don't buy tier um and then arena is great and then can i see that um, these stabilizers are phenomenal. It helps keep that sleek there because um, this isn't covered by by your cap, and so this part when it sits there, um, it's sticking out. And so when when it's sleek and when um, it's not this part, um, the band part, then then it doesn't it has less resistance and, and drag, and then the rest of the band is going to be sitting under your cap if you put it under your cap, and so it shouldn't um, create a lot of drag. So these these goggles are great. Um, I, I know a lot of people who wear the Arena Cobras, phenomenal goggles. Um, and then the Speedo, the new Speedo ones, they're, I think the brand new one they came out with is the, the Pier and 10 or something like that. Um, Pure Focus. Pure Focus. And so those those are great. The only thing, that I, why I don't buy them is that they're like 80 bucks. They're like 60, 80 bucks. So um, those are a little bit on the higher end. Of course, are they going to be better? Absolutely. Low profile, more peripheral. Um, it's going to be sleek, less drag. Like they're going to be better goggles without a doubt. Um, but they're still good goggles um, that are cheaper, like the Speed Socket 2.0s um, that are going to be great as well. Um, another great goggle is the the Michael Phelps goggles. I see people wear those all the time. Um, the eye gaskets too big for me. <laughs> I got small eyes, <laughs> um, <laughs> and so I don't wear the Michael Phelps goggles. I've I've, um, I've tried them on, just haven't liked them. Um, but but I've heard those are great um, great goggles to to buy um, and, and have. Um, another great goggle is uh, the the Adidas goggles. The only thing I don't like about them is they don't have um excuse me a lower profile they stick out just a tad too much um and that's why i don't buy the adidas ones but if you like them like i said try try your goggles on because these to, to me it's 
um, it's second to the tech suit. The tech suit's got to be the most comfortable, and then the goggles have to be the next most comfortable. Don't be afraid to cross brands. I mean, like at the end of the day, it's, it's whatever's comfortable for you and whatever is going to make you feel confident um, for your competitions and, and when you're when you're competing. You got anything else you want to add? Um, yeah, earlier I said the Tear Cobra goggles. I meant to say Arena. That's, <laughs> did you say Tear Cobra? Fault. Yeah, I did say Tear Cobra. <laughs> it's your... that's, that's my fault. Arena Cobras. Bro, you are messing up. <laughs> I am messing up on my goggles today. Okay, but also, you said I was a little bit more fancy. You have like five pair of goggles, right? Yeah, yeah, five pair. You, I, have I have the two pairs of I have the of Speed Sockets, Speed Socket 2.0s, Vanquishers. 2.0s and then the Vanquisher EVs. I think I have another one, but I forget. Yeah, so you got like four or five pairs of goggles. You know, that's gonna, you know, add up to my two pairs of goggles, okay? That's fair. So these, the the Arena Cobras, um, I actually got them off Amazon from a gift card, okay? <laughs> so. <laughs> you're right, you're right. And then the goggle case. Yeah, also. Um, goggle case got a speedo goggle we would case. highly recommend getting goggle cases right. or just a bag for your goggles i we have the we have the speedo bags um the teamster bags and they always come with those uh that dry bag and so that's where i keep all my goggles and my caps so they don't get scratched up um like your arenas you just throw them in your bag and they have scratches all over it um but now you have a case for it and, and it keeps it from getting scratched um especially those mirrored goggles you don't want those to get scratched that's why you have mirrored goggles um so it highly recommend getting goggle cases or just an extra bag for it a uh, ziploc bag could work but again that could be punctured um, by holes and stuff so try to get something a little more sturdy something that's gonna um be a little bit better for your goggles obviously goggle cases are made for your goggles so those would be the best um option for it and then anti-fog um would be is another great option as as goggles start to lose their fog um spraying it with anti-fog is great um spray it let it sit and then wipe it out um don't let it sit in there and then put it on your eyes it's horrible for you <laughs> um and then if you don't if you can't afford um anti-fog which they're like three four bucks so um if you have it um uh, it, it's gonna work for a little bit um is it going to work for like another week after you spray it? Probably not. But as you keep spraying it, it's going to work for, for your next race or for that racing day. Um, so I'd recommend using it if you have the money to, to do it. Um, but if you don't, um, contact solution is another great option to to use for um, kind of anti-fog-ish. It's the same deal. You just kind of pour the solution in there, let it sit, and then just wipe it out. Um, and so those are kind of our options for anti-fog. Yeah. Um, one last thing. Um, I, I, me personally, I don't like see-through goggles, like the clear oh, goggles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know like it helps when you're swimming in the dark, um, mm -hmm. but honest, I don't want to see your eyes when you swim. <laughs> That's just weird to me. I think because when I, like, growing up, I, I only saw the mirrored ones yeah, or, the, yeah. you know, the darker ones. Because we're from Arizona, and so, like, all of our pools are outdoors, um, and so everybody here has mirrored goggles because um, cause of the sun. Yeah. 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 I, those, <laughs> those clear goggles, man, I'm not looking at you. <laughs> like, I ain't about it. 